Happy Monday, everyone. This is Martha with Nature Niche, and it is officially butterfly season. I had a lot of fun this weekend at Chippewa Nature Center's Butterfly Count, and I thought it might be fun to share some um, footage and talk about the difference between two similar butterflies, the monarch and the viceroy. Um, both of these species are in the brushfoot family, and they're both mostly orange with black veins, black borders on their wings, um, and a lot of white spots. So similar coloring can be um, confusing. Uh, it's also a warning to would-be predators that these butterflies taste bad. So this phenomenon is known as malarian mimicry. And that's when two or more noxious animals develop similar appearances as a shared protective device. So monarchs feed on um, different milkweed species, but only milkweeds, as caterpillars. That's their host plant. And uh, they eat the latex sap of milkweeds and end up poisonous um, with the cardenolids or um, cardiac glycosides that make them poisonous and taste bad to vertebrates. Uh, voice, viceroys, on the other hand, feed on um, plants in the willow family. And um, that includes different species of willows, cottonwoods, and aspens. And those species contain salicylic acid um, which is the active ingredient in aspirin, and that makes them taste bitter. Besides differences in their host plants, uh, their caterpillars are also visually um, very different. Of course, this is the very charismatic, um, boldly striped monarch caterpillar. This is a big fifth in star we got to see on the butterfly count. Um, with the the bold black, yellow, and white banding. Viceroys, on the other hand, have more of a lumpy caterpillar. Uh, these are images from um, uh, the bug guide and a great online resource, but they are green or brown, um, looking like a lump of bird poop, and uh, they have two long knobby horns on the thorax. And uh, besides laying eggs on willows and cottonwoods, uh, female viceroys also sometimes lay eggs on plums, apples, and cherries. The adults are also um, different in size. Monarchs tend to be larger uh, with a wingspan of three and three eighths inches up to four and seven eighths inches, whereas uh, the viceroys are smaller. Um, only about two and a half inches up to three and three eighths inches a wingspan. So just hitting that lower end um, of an adult monarch. Another difference is flight pattern. Here you can see some adult monarchs and they have more of a floating um, flap flap glide type of flight pattern um, and hold their wings in a shallow V whereas the viceroys have a faster, um, more erratic flight pattern um, and hold their wings uh, pretty flat when they are gliding, kind of like the difference between a turkey vulture and a eagle, if bald eagle, if that, that helps you. That's a, a difference that I'm, I'm still working on uh, tuning my eye to, but something to keep in mind. I think the most reliable character is to look at the hind wing of the butterfly. Um, viceroys have a very distinctive black line across the um, post median, which means past the middle um, of their hind wing. So you can see that this is a really nice graphic off of a Journey North website. They've got the white circle around that black line. Um, whereas the monarch does not have that, that diagonal dark line. So I like to get close if I can and see that line before I call something a viceroy versus a monarch. Depending on where you live, there might also be a timing difference. And when you see these species, 
Um, monarchs are true migrants. Um, they migrate down to Mexico, and it takes several generations the following spring for them to arrive um, here in Michigan. Um, I think sometimes that can be in late May, sometimes mid to late June, um, just depending on weather and storm patterns. Viceroys, on the other hand, overwinter as first or second instar caterpillars. They take silk and wrap, um, curl up old leaves and use that to um, have a shelter and overwinter that way. And then they emerge as adults about 15 days after um, new willow or poplar leaves um, emerge in the spring. And that is very um, temperature dependent. So it, like if you live in Minnesota, you tend to have monarchs by late May, uh, but you might not have viceroys. Um, usually they don't emerge until June. In the northeastern United States, um, monarchs don't really arrive until mid to late June, but the viceroys appear by late May. And uh, here in Michigan, um, I was talking to, to some folks who are in the field looking for monarchs all the time, and uh, they basically think it's a toss-up. So timing might not be super helpful in Michigan. Generally, you can find viceroys and monarchs um, June into um, October here in Michigan. But uh, I hope you get out in the field right now and enjoy the butterflies and see if you can't find these two orange beauties. Take care and have a good week.